Okay, Vivian. To the glade we go. I suppose we should get some of our decoctions going here. Let's throw on those two. So we have time to ditch some of this extra gear that we're carrying. I don't know that I need to be wearing this chest armor anymore. Um, we get less, like, true armor out of this stuff. But uh, there's a whole bunch of other resistances that I think are probably worth it. We're not even carrying a steel sword for some reason. Or a silver sword. There we go. Stand back. I'll take it's just care a of panther. This. Is this like, uh. Is this some sort of uh, a panther? Stench. Why a stench? Come here. Got some bleeding, I think. Double quench, because you never know. <laughs> I think I need to change one of my. Oh, God. Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? I don't see Think why so. it won't. Now what must I do? Are you 100% that this is what you want to do? Just to be sure. Gonna ask one last time. Positive you want to do this? If we succeed, the changes will be irreversible. You'll probably also only have seven years left to live, at the most. Seven years free of the fear that someone might spy me at the wrong moment? Of the stigma of being a freak, a monster? Seven <laughs> years of a life Rings both true. true and unfettered. Yes, Kelt. I'm certain I wish to do it. All right. Okay, repeat after me. You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Oh, I thought maybe it wasn't working. <laughs> Looks like it worked. Damn it. Geralt, look. Look! Oh, gods! I shall be able to attend balls! I shall travel to Oxenford! To Novigrad, even! Thank you, Witcher! How to thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me. To help you. Now she feels bad. Yes. I am grateful to him as well, immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Why don't you find him and tell him? Yeah, like... Should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. I guess if I have to, I will. Sure, I'll tell him. I feel kind of bad about Farewell, how things Vivian. went down with him. Okay, we'll go and tell him. Whoa. What is that over there? 
I don't know. I don't know that we need to find out either. So, uh, seems like we've lifted that curse. Move it. The possible repercussions. Well, I don't know if there will be any for us, but she's obviously happy. Assuming it lasts. I don't see why it wouldn't, but that's a big, uh, that's a pretty big commitment, actually. <clears throat> to trade, like, you know, average lifespan for seven years, but if you're really unhappy with your current uh, situation, then I guess for a lot of people that that would be, that'd be the right call. Oh. Roach, uh, he gets a little timid around bridges. Alright, let's just forget bridges then. Look at this. This is gorgeous. How you like that silver? Whoa, more! Hello. We'll let you live today. everyone freaking? It's because I just had my sword out? You guys are being very dramatic. I pledge my love to win the tourney. Cannot be with your name on my lips. All two but swords, what both is another knight? Knight? Not one <laughs> could best the beast. <laughs> Many a valiant man has entered the list. Haven't I already won? If it be so, then I pledge to remain silent and not remove my helmet until I fulfill my first uh. pledge to you next year. Okay. A fruitful hunt to me. Geralt, what of Vivian? Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Yeah, I think so. She did ask me to pass on a Asked a me thank to give you. you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? I think she's happy. Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now, and happy, I think. Without me. You helped her, but that doesn't mean she owes you her love. True. Got this bard friend, philosopher too, I guess, amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Yeah, he's Adieu. rattled. I feel kind of bad that uh, he didn't get everything that he wanted, but such is life, you know? That's how it kind of goes. Now, we've got a couple of other things we could look to do. There is a tournament that would be kind of cool. Go to the place where the auction will be held. The clerk was seeking all manner of vagabonds, knights, nice and mercenaries. How close is this? Uh, it's not that close. And where's the Gwent tournament? Because that would be really fun, actually. Uh, this one. It's a south. Okay, so it's in the city. Um, let's hit that up, I think. Let me go Bye, here and see if we can maybe sell a few things. Saved us from woe. I don't need to wear this armor anymore. Greetings. Be so kind as to show me what you have to sell. Okay. Uh, maybe I won't be able to sell her. Yeah, she's not interested. Fair enough. She doesn't have any Gwent cards either, but uh, that's fine. Uh, does she have any? Let's see, sometimes there is a specific, I don't know what it's called. Something that we use to make potions, but. So long. Not necessary for her. Do we have a blacksmith? I guess we'd have one in the city. Oh, we do have one here, that's right. Let's head there first. 
It's a good thing. We should actually head back to uh, Casa del Corvo <laughs> and see how everything's going there. What are your needs? Surprise! Welcome, ceramics! Tucson's best sword swinger! Everybody knows. Uh, a lot of people playing Gwent around here. Craft something for me? Look, got this diagram. I basically just want to do uh, repairs here. Let's repair everything that we have equipped. Um. Let's repair this thing. All of these relics that we have. And then the Ravix of Fohorn armor, I think we can probably just sell maybe instead of... Oh, uh, or maybe we should keep it for like sentimental purposes. We don't need the knight's trousers. Let's get rid of those. Um, we don't need the knight's boots. Or the knight's gauntlets. But we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the Ravix of Fullhorn's armor and we'll store it back home. Here's the uh, the steel sword, which you should probably use actually. So long. Let's see. Yeah, it does significantly more damage, although some of the other benefits obviously aren't there, but we could try it out. Oh, I like the handle. That's actually, that's actually really cool. Very nice. Now, one of the things that I was uh, alluding to earlier, but I didn't finish what I wanted, was uh, in here. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we picked this one. I had leveled it up, but I didn't activate it. So we're still doing uh, critical hits on signs, which is fine. Uh, but what we really want is this piercing cold. So we're going to activate this. Now, did we do it? Yeah, we got piercing cold here. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we're going to a Gwent here, tournament. Do it. I don't think... Over here. Who's calling me? Was that him just calling me? I think it was. I don't think we need to sharpen our blades or anything, or reinforce our armor. Unless a fight breaks out, which I guess is possible. But the first thing I want to do is head back to Corvo Bianco. Because I don't think we've seen, like... I don't think we've seen the outside since it's been upgraded. And maybe we can invest some more money. Oh yeah. I work up to my chin and I've caught some rot. Everybody's caught rot. Okay, this is nice. Let's talk to Major Domo. Oh, do we have multiple? Oh, nice. Multiple places for armor. So there, we'll put that one there. And then this one we'll put our, our relic set on. This is the best. Also, I need paintings, though. Oh, it looks like we can hang... Okay, I like this. We can hang the shields. <laughs> That's awesome. A pleasure to welcome you once again to the as yet humble confines of Corfo Bianco. When last we met, I did not get the opportunity to present my credentials. Oh, okay. permission... I shall do so now. Yeah, sure. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize. See to everything and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Okay, so, uh, do you think we could do some renovating? I'm starting to really like this place. Let's Maybe invest some more cash. Refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? 
As you wish, sir. Shall we Maybe. see to the house or the grounds this time? Um, let's do more work on the house. Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I can make the house more functional. Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed, or additional armor stands, or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings, and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Can we do all of that? Um, definitely could use a better bed. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. Do it. Oh, Great. I was going to say, we order must get some type bed, of bonus. Please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything... Anything else you require, sir? Uh, weapon racks would be cool. Armor stands, I think we're fine. Um, let's see to the guest room. Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but... Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Let's do it. Yeah, the sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? I guess we could probably see to the ground. If you don't mind, I'd rather postpone talking about renovations. Need to ask you something else. Of course, sir, as you wish. What is the nature of your inquiry? Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. <laughs> there must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? Both would be great. Um, herbs in the garden would be cool. So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems to be the ideal grow anything place we want. to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Oh, shrubbery. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seeds in two days' time. Is it just random? Will you be needing anything else, Herbs sir? Herbs or... Hmm. It'd be cool to get Roach a better stable, sure. You know Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. Oh, we're broke. Okay, we're gonna have to mm. win some money. You know what? Might not be the best time to lay out that kind of coin. <laughs> Let me sleep on it. Ponder the notion however long you wish, sir. Let's put it on our Witcher I'm card. at your disposal always. Let's put a pin in this for now. Remember to have some urgent business to tend to. Not the slightest problem, sir. I'm here to solve whatever you desire. So what I'm thinking is maybe... Uh, Renovations coming along. Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. Yes, I've in noticed. In the news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. Okay. Uh, let me go there now. I was going to warm up with a game of Gwent it, here, but... Go see it right now, BB. Okay. Search the cellar. Oh god. Diddly slips. My back ache from Strange. Something behind this wall, I think. Oh, that's cool, the frost. What laboratory. Must have been nice. an alchemist at one time. 
Okay, an alchemy lab. You can transform mutagens taken from monsters into their basic versions. For example, you can turn a wraith mutagen into a lesser green mutagen. You can upgrade basic mutagens into their more powerful versions using the alchemy panel. If you find the right formula, you can also change mutagens' colors. Oh, cool. Okay. Julius Bangave's letter. To whomever finds this letter, my name is Julius Bangave. And if you're reading these words, I'm surely long dead, as befits one of my station and familial connections. I was sent to study at Bannard, the famed school for mages. Yet, I was never to complete those studies. For the entire duration of my life, magic held but a weak hold over a soul ravished by a passion for organic alchemy. It was to those most wondrous of sciences I dedicated the most beautiful years of my life, and the table beside which you now most surely stand is the fruit of those labors of love. If you are a fellow lover of alchemy, I hazard to guess you will be filled with rapture to behold my discovery. If, however, that marvelous science is unknown to you, please heed my advice. Drop this letter, step away from the table, and never return. The practice of alchemy by amateurs can lead to injury and even death. If you did not drop this letter after the last paragraph, then you are no stranger to alchemy. Thus, I shall now reveal to you in a few brief words the fundamentals of the alchemy table I've designed. Leaving aside all unnecessary detail, my chief discovery consisted of a formula and tools allowing for the transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of the more common sort. I know this sounds highly unlikely, but I've proven that with utmost certainty that this is possible. The workings of, the, of this transmutation are simple. One must simply make use of the table which I designed. As an expert in the arcane art of alchemy, you certainly already know your way around such devices. If you are but an amateur, a member of the hoi polloi who has by accident wandered into this abandoned place, back away, lest your ignorance and your, or uh, do you grievous harm. You are surely asking yourself why I hid my discovery from the world, why I did not share my formula with the community of alchemists. Well, let us say I have forever been regarded as eccentric. Aloof. And I've always believed it is pure chance and not men themselves that determine destiny. Furthermore, I have never sired offspring and have no desire to entrust my opus to a mere acquaintance. I thus concluded the best solution was to hide my table and trust the chance will, or that chance will, if my theory is correct, bring a man here who shall know how to make great use of it, whom it shall delight, and to whom it will prove of great use. Whether I'm right or wrong, time will tell. Use my gift wisely, wisely and fare you well. Julius Bangave, Alchemist. Okay, well, I'm sure that we'll have a use for this at some point. Oh, nice. Dwarven Spirit. Is this going to constantly... Additional charge. Oh, cool. So, I'm starting to see that Corvo Bianco, we should be coming home. We should be... Resting, we come down here, we charge our potions and that kind of thing. Ugh, my back and then uh, and then head out. So yeah, pretty cool. Now we have a whole bunch of things happening here, none of which uh, we can do immediately. However, let's see if we can talk to BB and warm up with the round of Gwent. Let me just check in here quick. Okay, so this is the bed that we're gonna replace. Here's a trophy, I guess. Gold stick of joy? Yeah, why not? This is where all our books are. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and when we do that... Oh, I see, we get a bonus for extra experience. Man, this is great! BB. Know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners taken interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very interesting Yeah, you got that fight. right. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, bengarometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. It'd be cool if we could, like, um hire somebody to do it for us. We just say, hey, go do this, and then they'll do it. 
Ever play Gwent, BB? Funny you should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years, but that was so long ago. I fear I've limited my interest to collecting now. Managed to assemble quite the set of decks. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Sounds interesting. Mind showing me what you got? Not at all, sir, but only in action. <laughs> A round or two, perhaps? Let's do it. May the best man win. Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Oh, that's cool. No, let's let's just surprise Not me. Not really. You choose. So he's kind of like a practice for different types of decks that we'd run into. It's going monsters. All right. Decoy, Scorch. We don't need two commander's horns. We have a couple of spies, which is nice. Yeah, I think this is good. Little harpy. Fine. Did not get any additional spies off of that, but that's fine. That's always the goal when you play them up front. You're like, I just really want more spies. Ah, there we go. Let's see if he's got any decoys. No, he doesn't. All right, so we can easily take this. Um, let's just use one of these. Okay, this is good. Now is when he's probably going to start playing the cards that bring extras out of his deck. Or just a regular Plague Maiden. Sure. Scorch here would be a pretty bad idea. I don't know if I should be worried here or not. I think I'm just going to keep playing. He doesn't seem to have much going on. I wonder if he's got um, a commander's horn for that front row. That would be so nice. Not yet. Clear weather. Oh, he's he's got nothing. It's quite the uh, collection you have there, BB. Any weather card, and we can just clear weather if we want it. Yeah, he's 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 toast. Well, we'll throw ours down. Because we're already here. And... Yeah, good game. I congratulate you on your victory. Shall we continue playing? Um, I think we're good for now. Maybe Thanks. later. Got something I need to do right now. As you wish, sir. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get to this tournament. I consider myself something of a Gwent expert, yet I've never heard of this faction. This card came with an invitation to a Gwent tournament organized at the peasantry or pheasantry by Count Monier. 
So our hero decided to seize this opportunity to find out more and perhaps collect a sweet pot while he was at it. Which is great because we have 1,557 orins. We need at least 2,000 for our next upgrade here, so... Roach, I'm going out to earn you a new stable. Hope you appreciate it. Alright, let's jump down here. Let's go to the Nilfgaardian Embassy. Have you lost your mind, man? I don't know why we come in swinging every single time. <laughs> You're married, but what difference does it make? Well, a legal one. So there is that. Do you know the colors I would see on the Oh, is this an out? Oh, cool. This is Red, outdoors. White and 